Okay, so as promised, here is Dad ready for his haircut. So normally I don't let him get this long. As you can see, his hair is very, very long, like longer than my finger. Um, normally I keep him much shorter because it's a lot easier to keep up with the grooming if the hair is short. If you want to keep it long, you can, but you just got to bear in mind that you're going to have a lot, a lot, a lot more brushing to do. So, um, two things really. One thing is, this is amazing. I don't know if you've ever seen one. I know they advertise them sometimes. So, it is a hair collection tool. Is the best thing I've ever bought. Better than them roller things. So, this is amazing. Get one of these. You'll see why afterwards. Because I will be yet very fluffy. And then for cutting the hair, I just put a pair of hairdressing scissors and I, I get the ones with the curve in it so that I can make sure I don't get too close to the skin. So, it's very simple. You don't need to be a hairdresser. And I won't lie, after I'm finished, he'll look awful. He'll look all choppy and terrible. But then after a couple of days, you groom him with your comb. And then they'll look fine again because all the wool starts pulling itself out and they just look better. Um, to begin with, when you start doing it, you want to put your fingers in between the skin and where you're cutting just until you build confidence with yourself. As I'm already used to it, I'm quite happy to go and cut straight away now. But let yourself build up confidence first. Um, Rabbit skin is very very thin so if you do catch the skin you will cut it with the scissors So just be careful You never want to pull their skin because you're more likely to accidentally cut it I always like to just let them remain calm and then chop away You can always go back to an area and recut it you don't have to just cut once So yeah don't worry about doing a little bit and having to go back. When you first do it, it will probably take you a while. But once you're used to it, you can get it done very quickly. I like to go in and cut off most of it to begin with. And then go back over it and thin it out where I think it's needed afterwards. You will now see a rabbit magically shrink and disappear. They look like they're very big rabbits when they've got all their fluff on them. But they're actually not. They're quite little. As you can probably see, we've shrunk quite considerably already. And this, I know I've said to you all before, if you stroke the top of their head, they calm down. So if your bunny gets a little bit impatient, feel free to do this over a couple of days so that they're happy to begin with till they get used to it. And then once they're used to it, you can do it for a longer period of time. And I just use the, if he gets a bit excitable, I just do this. Cause it's, for whatever reason, I'm not entirely sure why it just calms them all right down. And the babies seem to have picked up on that trait as well. I think it's worth paying out for a set of hairdressing scissors. They definitely work a lot better. And so far, I haven't had to replace these ones. And I use these ones not only on the rabbits, but on my dog as well. So yeah, worthwhile. Okay, I'll probably go a bit quiet now, but you can just see what I'm doing and get the general idea. And if you feel like you've seen enough, it's pretty much just this all the way over now, so you don't have to watch the whole thing.
The only area I think you should always try and keep long is the top of the ears, so they're really cute. But they do. So with him, he likes to do upside down equivalent of a snow angel in his bedding, which means that he does get knottier quicker. And um, he got some knots not that long ago actually in the top of his ears. And I feel like because their ears are quite sensitive, it was better to just chop it off instead of trying to tease out the knot. He is the worst. You want to hope that the bunnies take after mum because she is super clean, super tidy and she gets barely any knots because she just keeps herself nicely. Where is this little monkey face? It's very, very messy. Hoxton water. It's all about finding a way through. It's pushing on. Both hooks. Until finally, reaching the top. Hoxton. Don't give up. Rise up. I try and do as much as I can without moving them once they're comfy and then yeah when I'm ready to go underneath I'll move him. Probably see what I mean by a shrinking bunny. Part of the fluff is almost the same size as the bunny right now. That's not even all the fluff yet. So still got all the bum fluff there, as you can see. Yeah, so we no 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 okay. when we shot the top of the four. 
Just the same as on the top. Little to begin with. You can always get closer and cut more off once you've cut the bark off. Yep, got that. Loads of dinosaurs. Love dinosaurs. So, if you loosen up the grip on the ears, they they will um go for a run. This is like under his neck. Hmm? <laughs> he said shush, but on the camera it looked like this is more like at his neck. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, little bunny. I quite like how in the picture that lady sent that the uh, legs were all fluffy still. Hmm. You can't do that. Where's your hold his legs?
So, just pay attention to your bunny and what they're feeling like at the time. If they're not ready and they're getting a bit bored and fed up, then feel free to just quit and come back another day. He's getting close now. You can already see how much we're shrinking. Okay, so the other thing to remember, bunnies have little tails and they're bigger than you might think. So, I've cut around most of his butt, but this is his tail. 
and the bone comes out to here so yeah you can trim around it but just be careful not to cut the actual tailbone if you can see it mm. oh yeah I'm probably gonna give him five minutes it's very warm for him sitting on my lap and then finish off his bum a little bit later but I think you've got the general idea of how to cut the hair they're a lot more relaxed about it in the winter because it's not such a big deal to be sat on your lap hey get more warm but yeah ta-da beautiful choppy haircut <laughs> 